Morning. Welcome back. Saturday morning. We are going over to our other farm. Myself, my oldest daughter. She's just finishing off her breakfast. She didn't want to go so early this morning because it is only gone half past eight. But I want to get started, get it done so I can get home, get the whole thing edited, get it all up and ready for you in the morning. Now I'm just loading the quad at the minute. Um, so I've got my two extension leads with me because um, sometimes this one can short out and I'm just going to bring the second one with me just in case so I have it with me. Uh, we've got gloves, uh, Avermac uh, Super just to give them a dose for worms um, and we got uh, our bag of camera stuff. So a lot of people ask, what clippers do I use? Well, List Cop is the ones that I have. They're the first clippers I ever bought and they're still the ones that I currently have. Um, a great set of clippers. I have them, oh, definitely more than 15 years now and I've clipped every single year with them. Um, I had it, I'll be honest with you, I had it reconditioned um, back about three years ago. Um, I don't know what was actually done inside it, but I knew that it kind of smelt like it was starting to burn out. Um, so the brushes and things were, were fixed in it. Um, sent it off. It cost about 45 euro, I think, at the time. Um, to get it done and to come back working like new so didn't cost the earth for the minute work it had done but they're definitely good strong pair of clippers um, really easy to use they're heavy yes they are heavy but um, I find them great I find them great uh, and these pair I am missing the air filter I don't know what happened to it it just disappeared over the over the summertime last year I obviously put it down somewhere and I can't remember where I put it normally I put everything in the box um, I can't understand why it's gone off this I ordered a new one off a firm in Cavan and uh, it took a couple of days to come in then they rang me, paid for it and um, never heard anything since. That's about four weeks ago it was posted out, three weeks ago it was posted out and I haven't heard it and I've been ringing them and sending them emails. I just don't know. I'm going to have to try to find a new air filter somewhere else. So what I do is I get a milk sock, I cut it to size and just slide it up there. And it does the job. Um, not ideal, you just have to keep replacing the milk sock every oh, every 10 animals or so because it can get damp and then the hair starts to stick to it. So, um, But it keeps the hair out of that compartment and it allows it to breed. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to get a milk sock, I'm going to cut the size, I'm going to slip it up and get it ready and uh, that's it. So I've also got a set of spare blades. I always have, um, I always have two sets of blades and I broke the last ones um, last year. I had them for a long, long time. They were nearly worn out, to be honest with you. So I picked up a set. Um, the ones I use is an A7. Um, they're not just as tight as an A6 as well. as a wee bit tighter. Um, but these are the ones I use. Good blade. You get a lot of cutting out of them. It depends. all depends on the type of hair you're cutting. If the cows or cattle are covered in muck and dirt, clippers are going to blunt and far easier. But I have, so far, with these, they're on the clippers at the minute. I've done all the cattle. And I'm probably going to do all these cattle over here now. There's 15 of them to be done, so I'm probably going to do all them with the same clippers rather than having to open these new ones yet. But if I have to open them, I will. We've got a filter put on this here. Wait for Danielle to come up after our breakfast. Here she's coming, and uh, we're going to get these cattle done. Here comes Danielle. At half past eight in the morning, she's as enthusiastic about doing this job. Can't wait. Look at <laughs> Right, we're over here now. These ladies can't wait to get their hair cut. I'm just queuing up. The barber has been closed for so long, I suppose. Now the hair doesn't be long, getting along. But you can see there, there's a right growth of hair on them. Not the camera picks it up. But um, they'll be so much more comfortable now getting that hair removed. It allows their skin to breed. It allows them to cool down much, much easier. And all overall, they'll be an awful lot more comfortable. As you can see then as well, I had a bit of a makeshift scarecrow. I had a grape and a bit of plastic in the top set up here to try to keep the boards away yesterday. The crows are back. These little guys that are hanging up here are doing no real justice to me anymore. They did serve well last year, but they're just not working this year. Um, you can see there's a lot of board dung on the ground. In the room where the calves are eating. And up on the rails. These rails are all washed. So you can see where the boards are sitting on the rails the whole way down. That's all coming from the boards and that's the whole way down there. So, so yeah, they're back. A nuisance again. Uh, they're out in the field now at the minute. There's a heap of grey crows out in that middle of that field there at the moment and the GoPro can't really pick them up but they're the whole way along the ridge of this field and they're just waiting for their chance to come swooping in as soon as I throw the meal. What they'll do is they'll peck the cattle's noses to make them go back so that they can slap her through the whole meal and dung through it and everything and bring, make nothing but a mess and cause disease. So they are an absolute pest. Tomorrow Sunday I'm going to set myself up over here for about two hours and I know the way the habits they have, they're really, really, 
They're a real suspicious board. They're very hard to get in beside to get a close enough shot to get a few of them out, but I know a few tricks, one of which is to throw the meal here and then get someone to drive the quad down the lane because as soon as they see their quad going down the lane, they come swooping in straight away. So if I can bring one of my daughters over with me, get them to drive it down the lane and me, I'll hide in behind this wall or somewhere, set up a wee bit of a hide and we'll take out as many of them as we can tomorrow. Um, just enough to send a message to the rest of them. Maybe we should stay away from that spot. It's not the safest. So I said to you before, the air filter's missing here and a milk sock is all you need to make an air filter. Um, so we get a sandy knife and we cut something similar to size to that there and we just slide it up. So all I'm gonna do is cut a couple of slots down here and then I'm gonna slide them up into here and that'll be hopefully be our air filter. The grommet here on the wire has split as well, as you can see. The wire's fine, but that grommet stops the wire from bending back and forth. It's gone. I ordered one of those as well with them and still waiting as well. So we'll keep plowing on. I'll have the whole clipping done by the time I get them. They say this is the last. These are the last cattle now that have to be clipped. Everything else is done now at home. Danielle's helped me today. She's here somewhere hiding. She doesn't want to be on the camera over there. Um, but once she's here with me, it's going to be a little bit easier because it is quite hard to film clipping animals. Real dirty job and your hands be covered and then you'd be covering the camera and you could destroy camera gear very easily by doing that so um, I didn't film that being done. But today they're just a smaller version of the cows. We're doing the exact same thing. Heads. I don't always do their heads but this year with the amount of hair that seems to be on them I'm going to do their heads, their backs, their tails and possibly just slightly down their, their back ends as well just to keep them a little bit cleaner. Now I have to get them in. We have still a big pile of hair there from the last animals that has to be cleared up as well so we're going to clean the whole thing up now this evening when we get done. The only thing I haven't done yet as you can see is I haven't fixed the latch on my door. Hopefully we get that fixed soon. Hi right, ladies. Not know yourselves coming back in. You won't even know each other. Right, that's the first batch in. Get the extension lead set up now. It's a real, real bright morning sun. It's a lovely sun, actually. The camera doesn't like it, though. But we get it all set up. <laughs> Danielle, you're in the camera. You're in the camera, Danielle. You're in the camera. <laughs> That's the pet done. I don't know if the camera will pick it up too well, but you can see the head's done, the back's done. Yeah. She's not speaking to me now. Back's done, tail's done, and down the backs of both legs is done as well. Give that about a week, two weeks, and you won't recognize her. The rest of the old hair will start to fall off. She'll start to get a nice shine of her. It'll just completely change her. Um, and it's such a good job to do. So that's number one done. And 14 more to do. Oh, where you go?
Okay, just to interrupt that video just for a second. Loads of people have been messaging me about merch and where can you get merch because they did see the post that I put up on Instagram there back a couple of weeks ago and they want to know can they get merch for Christmas. Unfortunately, we won't have any merch before Christmas. Um, it was just coming too soon. Everything is in order, ready to launch a brand new full-scale merch very soon. We'll have our own official shop and the quality stuff is going to be really good and no you're going to be happy with it. We are thrilled. We just have to wait till we get our online shop set up. For starters, we have our iFarm We Farm hoodies. And uh, this is all embroiled. Embroidery? Embroidery? What do you call it? Embroidery? And it's really well done. It's stitched really well. Uh, the quality of stuff is really good. That's something I really wanted to get right. I wanted the quality of stuff that could go through a wash and not uh, go from a large to an extra small. These are the ones my kids are already wearing and have been wearing for the past fortnight. Have been washed twice and they've been 100%. On the back you have I farm we farm and you have our logo then on the front. It's the same on these here. You get the same logo on the front. So you have for girls and boys. Um, all sizes, adults as well, in every size possible. There may be an actual couple of other colours coming as well. Um, body warmer, a lot of people have asked for body warmer. Sorry, sun is shining down a little bit. But this is the same body warmer that I actually wear. Uh, it'll come in a couple of different colours. It's nice and light um, and airy as well. Like it's got elastic on the sides. Um, so it's a nice comfortable body warmer to wear. Um, that will be another one that will be launched on a website. Definitely one that people have asked for is a body warmer. We probably would have jackets and things coming as well. I have a few beanies just given to me as a sample to take home and let the kids wear and things like that. But we had too many in the box. So I'm gonna give away four beanies. So you have a choice of this style or bobble style. The bobble style is in black. This style is in navy blue. Now these are both adult style hats, um, but these fit my kids absolutely perfect. I find it a bit tight on me. Um, I like a loose hat, um, but it's for an adult. A brother of mine wears it there and he swears by it. He loves it. These are more comfortable, I find, um, for adult sizes. So it's up to you, depending on who it's for. Kids probably love that. Adults, if you're like me, you might like this one instead. So we have two of each to give away. What do you do to win? So this Monday, the 14th of December, on Instagram at 8pm, I will prop a question. It's going to be quite simple if you're following our videos. Otherwise, you might have to go back and have a quick look through to find out the answer. So first of all, all you have to do is make sure you're following us on Instagram. You have to be following us to win this prize. Go into the comment box, answer the question, and after the question, write either bobble or beanie. That's the style of hat that you want. So bobble or beanie. Remember, we only have two of each. And then on Tuesday night, the 15th, yes, 15th, at 8 p.m. live, we will pick a winner just at random. So don't worry about being the first person because that won't make any difference. We're going to flick through them all and we're going to pick two people who have the right answer for Bobble and two people who have the right answer for the beanie. And then make sure that you tune in that following night because we will be asking you then for your information which you can PM us so we can get these posted out. And hopefully, depending on who you are, we'll get them to you before Christmas. So quite simple, all right? So keep tuned, eight o'clock, Monday night on Instagram and you'll find out more. Enjoy the rest of the video. Right, so we're halfway there. Half the ladies done. And oh, they're quite happy. What do you think, Danielle? Yeah. Hi, ladies. Here we go. And you see, the crush works great because they know that's kind of the flow with it. There's no real pushing and shoving, they just run up to the crush as they should. So all I do now is push up the gate a little bit further, give them less room. Go on, go on, go on, go on. That's it. I'll loot. I'll loot. Okay, you want to go as well? Right, 
on the very last one, I'm absolutely covered in hairs. And normally what I'd do is I'd wear a mask when I'm at this. I'd actually wear a full kind of a ski and thing that pulls down. It just opens a place open for your eyes just to keep your everything clean. But today I didn't do that because I wouldn't be fit to talk and explain to you what I was doing. So there was no point in doing that. I made a rookie mistake where I didn't bring over enough dose and I was short for the last two cattle. I have them marked and I'll come back over another day and dose them again. Danielle's just throwing back a bit of silage for them there now. They're nice and happy. We'll get this one done. Um, we'll get the whole yard cleaned up. And yeah, that'll be a good job to get finished. That's the last of the clipping done for the year. Behave yourself, the last one. There you are. Right, so the first thing I do with the clippers is, I'm gonna turn them on, a bit of oil. Line down the back. As you can see, there's plenty of hair. Next thing I do then is come back to the shoulder bone and the back hip. Do the same on the other side. Go down, back leg. So that's them all clipped, all nice and comfortable, eating the last of the silage. I'm gonna have to come back over here now in a, probably an hour's time and put in two new bales to keep them going then for the next couple of days. They're a lot comfortable, they look a lot better. Now last year when I done the clipping video, some people, you'll always get them people who love to complain, who don't understand things and just jump in without thinking, but there is a reason why we have to clip this, not for our benefit, totally for the benefit of the animals. Something I wish we didn't even have to do because it's a dirty job, nobody likes doing it, but it's an essential job. The reason behind it is, just to keep it simple, is that animals with their winter coat on are suited to be outside. It's what their winter coat is designed to do, to protect them when they're out in the elements. But they're not out in the elements, like a lot of cattle nowadays are indoors, so they don't need that winter coat on. It's too heavy on them, and especially when you go from cold weather to warm weather, you end up getting cattle sweating, getting cold, then they're sweating back and forth, and then pneumonia creeps in and different things like that. And cattle do not thrive uh, because they're not comfortable, they're itchy, and it leaves them more irritated than anything. So clipping them is very important, just purely for the health reasons. Two weeks, we might come back and have a look at them. You'll see how much they'll thrive. That old hair that's down along the sides there will start to fall off. A new coat will come and they'll develop a shine of them. Um, you can see even there where it's clipped, you see the way it's, if you can make it out, it's kind of dusty looking. That's just that old dust that's caught down at the root of the hair and that just drives them mad with itch. That'll all fall off. A new coat will regrow. Tails are nicely clipped as well now. They're not going to hold on to any dirt or anything. They're going to be much cleaner and overall there is no downside to doing that. So that's it folks. That is me done. I'm going home now to have a cup of coffee before I come back and put in some silage here. Get this video uploaded onto the computer. Get it edited. So you'll have it tomorrow morning, so you're right up to date now. So if you liked the video, please hit that sub button. Give us a like, comment down below as you will. We always read them. We do our best to get back to most of them. Can't get back to them all, but we do certainly read them. You can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. Until the next one, folks, we'll talk to you again.